Cause nobody is more careful for my hair than me. I ain't no salon lady would have ever sat all day long detangling my super matted hair. Ain't nobody at the salon would have sat down and taken a hair follicle, keeping hair strand by hair strand by hair strand by hair strand out of product buildup. They would have ripped it out. But I care for my own hair. And I did that all day while watching something on Netflix. And look at me go, go, go with all my hair out back in just nine months. Nine months that I once upon a time grew over three years. So I am looking forward to seeing what my hair is going to look like one year from today. If I keep up my rouge, my regime. Did I literally just come up with that word? Rougine. That's a combination of routine and regime, hey. <laughs> okay, I wanted to say regime or routine. But my hair regime, or regimen, for the life of me. You know when you, like the, the message here, the moral of this particular story, this is what I'm trying to get at, is, you know that song? I just I came to Give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy. Moral of the story. That is the moral of that story. Just when you want to throw in the towel, as a kingdom citizen, when you belong to Jesus Christ, the God Nazareth, a hallelujah, amen, 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 when you belong to the king of the universe, Psalm 91 is true about you. He will charge his angels concerning you so that you will not strike your footy against a stone, you guys. You're not going to hit that stone. It's going to be there, but you're going to be like, hey, stone, fall on them rather since they dishonor God. Rocks, fall on us. They're going to say that in the last days when God is judging the lands. But we say to the stone, hello, stone, we're built on the rock stone. Don't nobody move because we belong to the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. So we don't strike our feet against the stone. We just kind of hop over it mm. because the Lord will charge his angels concerning. So when you want to throw in the towel because you think something is not working, when you think God has not been a lamp to your feet, when you think God has not directed your paths and your ways, when you think the Lord has not cared to make out of you a city on the hill that you might be an example to the nations, when you start to think that all you're doing is just driving by yourself, <laughs> just driving by yourself, <laughs> and you think it's in all of your own energy alone and you're getting nowhere you think that you're the one pouring in all the effort where's the holy spirit where's god what's he doing about it i need supernatural aiding but look at me walk god <sighs> and then you realize that you've been wearing rollerblades the whole time The whole time you've been wearing rollerblades, but because you have covered so much kilometerage, kilometerage, because you've covered so much ground, you feel exhausted, you feel exasperated, and like you're wasting time until you realize you have literally covered kilometers upon kilometers upon kilometers of ground.